Why, hello there. My name is Abe, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon Advanced Gungeons and Dragons. It's finally been released. Oh, oh, oh version 2.0.2. It's been a long time since I have been waiting for this update. Feels like forever. Been delayed over and over again for a year, but it's finally out this Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And I'm going to be playing me some Gungeon, and quite a lot of Gungeon. But first, before I jump into the game, I would like to say hello, Bested Ice Tea. Best Ice Tea, how's it going? And also, thank you for, uh, for everyone who's been watching my Gungeon videos, who's been uh, subscribing and following, and every once in a while giving me some bits on Twitch. I appreciate it all, and I appreciate all of you. And also, before I jump into the game, I want to really quickly look at the... At the patch notes because there are a few things to note there's you know new features and new stuff that's added but there's also a lot of bug fixes so <laughs> I like the number one bullet point on bug fixes is fixed an issue where firing very large bullets could fail when the player was standing near a wall and that's kind of a big one because with the new mega hand and heroin synergies if you're standing up against a wall that could prevent you from firing, and that's been an old bug that's been in the game for a long time, so I'm glad it's been fixed. Uh, more bugs that have been fixed are, le well, not maybe bugs, but feature additions even. Um, lead Maidens will be open when frozen. Um, the room generation bug that's been plaguing the game for a long time has been fixed. And things like uh, homing shots are going to work a little bit better. Aim assist is going to work a little bit better. Um, the resourceful rat does not steal glass wand stones anymore, which is kind of a strange one. And some of the bugs I, I've personally never come across. Some of the bugs I've <laughs> had to tell them about, or I've I've mentioned on the forums. Those scuskets, they will now no longer apparently immediately spawn bullets when they spawn in. And the scuskets, those are the ones that are... Let me see if I can find... Oh, new enemies! One, two new bosses, it looks like. Maybe No, that's not bosses. Two new big enemies. And then four other new enemies. Five new other enemies. Six new other enemies. It's so good. Uh, where's the Skuska? These guys. Because normally when they spawn in, they spawn in with all of their bullet arms already extended. Now they will slowly stretch out their arms so you can dodge the, the bullets immediately. Because it's been... That's ruined a couple of no-hit runs I've had in the past. There's one new boss, it looks like. And a whole bunch of new items. And by a whole bunch, I mean like 20. <laughs> 20 new items anyways. How many new guns? Uh, Maybe like 15 or 20 new guns. All right. Works very nice. Looks very nice here. Uh, I'm going to start by playing as a pilot. Oh, another thing that's been changed is that you can now drop your starting items if they're not starting items. So, like, if I pick up battery bullets on a run, I can drop it. If I pick up the uh, enraging photo on a run, I can drop it. If I pick up the uh, military training manual as the pilot, I can drop it, which is kind of nice. It's nice that they added that in. That's been something that's been bugging people for a while, I think. There are new items to buy immediately, which I love. I don't think there's going to be like anything special with uh, with the tailor here. I don't think there's going to be anything special with too many of these guys, but it's interesting that there are new items to purchase immediately, and I am going to cheese the hell out of that and uh, buy as many items as I can. Let me just actually minimize that uh, that window. Update's not live on Switch. It's pro it might even take several more days because um, you know Switch has to actually Nintendo has to actually look at the update and, and validate it and verify it. Bum bullets. We have 4,000 hegemony credits. It looks like they still haven't fixed that bug with the screen not big enough to actually show you the total number of credits you have. Bum bullets. I thought it was going to be like a bum. <laughs> like the uh, the bum from Isaac. And then vorpal bullets. Interesting. Every shot from every gun has a chance to crit and do a ton of damage. That seems like it might be kind of nice. Game seems awfully quiet, but we'll figure it out. Platinum bullets for 200 in this shop. Okay. That seems ridiculous. That seems lovely. I, I love it. I like that it kind of looks all cracked. So I'm going to uh, leave and come back. 
that one comedian 28 hey how's it going you made it you did make it and i just started so yeah you didn't miss anything so i'm gonna jump back in which might re-roll the shop we might be able to buy more items from the shop man here nope he's gone <laughs> we could it, I, the thing is i don't know if we've purchased everything from him so i could just like leave enter leave enter leave enter and then see if we can't get him to spawn again and when he spawns, we know if we've purchased everything. So is he still there? He's not there. We have to leave and come back again? I just, I want to try to unlock as many items as possible. I know that there's a whole bunch of new synergies, but I also want the new items. So we'll do this one more time. It will be a lot of time as we play hundreds and hundreds of hours of Gungeon to unlock everything. Trork, unfortunately, doesn't have anything new. Uh, I am going to do the tutorial. I don't know if there's anything added, but I, reading the patch notes, it did say something about maybe there being a a tutorial for something. I don't know if that means it's in the tutorial, but let's let's go through the tutorial really quickly. Maybe they added another room or something. Uh, so we'll we'll just really quickly see how this works. We played Gungeon before. Should just take about two minutes, I think, and then we'll jump into our first ever AGMD run. It'll be interesting actually to see how uh, jumping over tables works too. I, I don't know if that's gonna be something that I'm gonna like, but we will find out. Blah, 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 blah. Here's how you use blanks. Like the game purposefully stops you so you don't have enough time to uh, do it without using blanks. <laughs> Is this where we kill a bulletkin? Yeah. Philomona Balkus. Philomon Bal Balkus? Hey, how's it going? Hello. Now kill him! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we get the drill. He's very happy about this slaughter that's gonna happen. Helps if I can actually hit him. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's see how this uh, this dodge rolling over the table works. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Like, cause if I'm if I'm this close to a table and I dodge it, it does dodge over the table. Ooh. Let's take a look at the options real quick. Gameplay, increase speed out of combat. Let's see how that looks. We're very fast. I'm gonna disable that. The problem with that I see is that you might get used to a faster speed if you're doing a lot of walking, you get into combat, and then all of a sudden, boom! You, uh, you get hit. Controller beam aim assist, aim assist vibration, tiny UI, speed run, view privacy. Ah, that's good. We can change the loop profile too. I actually kind of hope that maybe they even add in an option to maybe disable the, uh, the sliding over the tables, because I, I kind of have a strategy. My my general strategy for tables is you roll into the table and then you flip it. But I guess if I if you flip the table before you reach it, you won't dodge over it. So if I do that, maybe I'll be happy with the uh, the results. But I can see myself maybe even taking damage because of that because it's a new mechanic that's been added in. You know, how many hundreds of hours after the game was originally released? It might be a little bit uh, might be a little bit uh, too little too late or too late to be useful. It is kind of nice that you can just go over the table though. There are a few rooms and a few instances where um, a table is like in a corner of a room and you just barely can't dodge roll past it. We'll see. As with all things, we will, uh, ooh, giant new synergy arrow. Oh, look at the shield, the P cannon. Holy hell, we got a new synergy in the tutorial. And a new synergy was tutorialized. Oh, that's very nice. That tells you when you get a synergy and it tells you the items that synergized. We have explosive peas. <laughs> wow. Pea shooter, best gun ever. Let's see, let's see if we can see these synergies in the Ammonomicon. I did girly scream. Oh God. No. Baby mimic? I went too fast. Vorpal bullets, platinum bullets. Oh, okay. For some reason, it's like, you got the commando unlocked. And I thought to myself, we're not gonna go through every gun in the game, are we? So it, 
Oh, it does! If you click on a gun or an item, it tells you what it synergizes with. This is wonderful. So all three of these items, the shield, the helm, and the pea shooter all synergize together. And we have this rotating shield around us. And we have a pea shooter that shoots explosive peas. Wh why? <laughs> why would I ever use the AK? I have explosive peas. It fires so slowly. So what happens if I drop it? I still get the synergy? Wait, hold on. Oh, you, wait, what? Hold on, if I drop this, what happens? If I drop the helm, I lose the synergy. So Old Knight's helm plus the shield gives me rotating shield. Oh, I see, it's an optional synergy. I only need one or the other to make the pea gun do pea gun things. I see, so it, it's a little bit more of a robust synergy system than I was expecting. But that's, uh, that's actually really good. It's good to kind of understand how that synergy works. You guys are gonna see a 24 hour stream with my enthusiasm. Well, maybe. If you keep me, uh, you know, oh my god, this gun does so much damage. Look at the, look at the hegemony credits. <laughs> uh, 3764. 37.82. We picked up 18 hegemony credits. <laughs> you want me to kill him? No, 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 no. But yes, I want you to kill him. If you keep me loaded up with bits and subs, I will, uh, I'll do a 24 hour stream. Okay, so that's, that's very interesting. It, it, very interesting. It's good to know that that's how the synergy system works. Um, that there are potentially optional synergies. Multiple items that can give you the same effect. Very, very handy to know. And that gun did a lot of damage, that pea shooter gun. If, if only you could get the shield and the uh, the helm on a run, you know, because I don't think you can normally. I've never seen it. I've seen it only in the tutorial. I'm just gonna take a drink real quick. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna die. Make sure that I'm unmuted this time. I'm already seeing new stuff, like the tables. There's new debris items on the table, like there was a, an alchemist potion or something on one of these tables. I don't think I ever remember seeing that before. Or maybe I'm just forgetful. Here's something. Oh, look at this! It's a little uh, statue. I wonder, oh, you know what? I wonder if now there's an alternate um, sprite for the statues that are uh, enemies, like the Ashen Bulletkins on the fourth and fifth floor. That would be very nice. So you don't just get shot from behind. You can actually look at all the statues and say to yourself, hey, that's an enemy. Hey, that's a new enemy. It's a dynamite dude, okay. Dynamite dude, I think, is Technically, in uh, old school Gungeon, or old school, in the original release of Gungeon, it was just a a a, um, a character that wasn't used. Like there are a few bosses in uh, in Enter the Gungeon that you can access if you spawn them in, like using Mod the Gungeon, but they don't do anything or they don't work properly. Like there's a uh, a bunker boss that you can fight. I think it kind of works, but they just, you know, never put it into the game. And I think that Dynamite Dude is one of those enemies. It's actually in the original release of Gungeon, but they just never used it for anything. So the, another thing that's changed is that these blobs, they split faster, but it, it seems like they don't chase after you any faster, but they do split faster, which is nice because um, certain guns like the rail gun, you know, it can kill them very quickly, and then you have to wait for the animation for them to split to finish, and the, the railgun shot, the bouncy one, not the prototype, the railgun shot won't actually end up killing them because, the smaller segments, because they aren't vulnerable, you know? I think the Galoctopus is a joke. Oh, Chain Gunner! 
Chain Gunners apparently are buffed. They've got like a new attack or something, I don't know. Hopefully it's something we never ever see ever. Is this a new room? This seems like a new room. A Chain Gunner and, oh, he threw it. I, oh that was a scary sound. I knew that he was gonna throw something at me. Well, let's uh, try to lockpick a chest. <laughs> I figure with the uh, with the blue chest, let's lockpick the, uh, the brown chest. The sounds have changed too a little bit. Maybe maybe for some reason my sound uh, system is messed up. Maybe the uh, the volume isn't quite right. But it definitely feels like the sounds of those bulletkin dying has changed a little bit. Maybe they've all, they all have different uh, custom versions, but it, it definitely sounds like a little punchier, you know, when an enemy dies. It like snaps and then dies. I don't know, it's strange. I don't mind it at all. Yeah, like an enemy dying, it, like on the frame that it dies and it explodes, it's like pop. I don't know, it, it's it's definitely a little, little weird. Hey, more shrines, or more statues. Is there gonna be a pilot statue if I touch it while I get a bonus? I know that they said that they did revamp their, their sound engine, so maybe they actually did do something to um, alter the way that the sounds are played. You know what it could be? Maybe maybe like when they explode, other sounds are slightly muted or something. Like the, the volume of two sounds being played at the same time has changed a little bit or something. I don't know. Um, key, key meta has been changed. Uh, you don't need to worry about walking around and, and leaving keys behind before you uh, pick up a key from the shop. You can pick up keys whenever. There's a cell creep. Can't sell anything to him, but maybe when we come back. There is Smiley's Revolver for 55. That's a pretty good item. I'd like it. I'd like to grab it if I can. You wonder if the weird eyeball room with the teleporter prototype has more in it. If it's possible. Who the hell knows? They could have added in some new synergies. Is the sound level okay? Let me know if the sound uh, needs to be turned up a little bit. It, it feels a little bit quieter to me, but that might just be me. Like, it may, may have been that they just changed the balance for sounds. Everything sounds quieter, you know? So, so please let me know. You think it sounds fine? Okay. Got a lot of HP, dude. It just it. <laughs> I should I should have tested this beforehand, because now I just can't stop thinking about it. It's like the sounds, everything's quieter. Oh, there is also an option here for like changing the loot profile, but I I don't know how to do that because the option is grayed out. <laughs> Maybe you have to do it in the breach. You can't do it in the middle of a run. I'm gonna assume that that's the case. But uh, theoretically, they changed it so that. It's more generous early, so we got a chest spawn early, you know. Oh, I should have. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have used my uh, my lock pick to open one of the chests before we came down here, because now I won't be able to open them both. Actually, I can I can buy a key. I have 42. That was dumb though. I should have definitely lock picked one of the uh, the blue chests before I walked into the boss fight. I was I was so excited to be fighting the boss. I'm like, hey, let's go fight the boss right now. Excuse me. Probably the, uh, one of the most difficult bosses, I think, to fight with the frickin' starting pistol as the pilot. There we go, got them both together. Hopefully we can get some guns at some point so we can get some of these nice, interesting synergies. I imagine that the guaranteed gun drop from bosses is still in the game because that's that's something that makes sense. Not like these other stupid changes that they've made, no. But it does make sense to uh, make sure that the player can always get new guns for their run. Let's see if we can get a flawless too, like a lead god or something. Not a no-hit run. I mean, we're, we've already taken damage from the like a first gun nut that I saw. Yeah, I might turn up the sounds a little bit, actually, because it, it does sound 
it's harder to hear anything. Like, the sound of my bullets impacting the enemy are so much quieter than they normally were. You know, I'm used to, whenever my shot landing, for there to be an audible click to know that my shot is landing, but I'm, I'm not getting that anymore. Anyways. No synergy, but we did get... Gemini Carbine, there's a teleporter in the exit room. And let's lockpick. It worked. We got an HP upgrade. Lovely. Um, I guess I do have enough money to buy both keys. Let's do that. We're not gonna get Smiley's Revolver, I guess. We will go open this blue chest. Oh my god, you know what I'm gonna do? Hold on a second. Freaking... I'm gonna up just the sound volume a little bit. Just a little bit. And I will open this. Oh, the shot grub! I can't wait to see what interesting synergies we have with this. Even like the teleporter sounds quieter. Ah, it's just, it's strange. Junk! Ooh, the, the reload sound is different too. Like it sounds like a shotgun now. Yeah, that's, that's new. <laughs> it's like I'm just like, ooh, ah, changes. You like the changes? With the Master Hound, Master Round on the robot. It basically just gives him more HP, right? Which is nice. You know what would be nice is if it gave, oh my lord. Oh, this is new. Excuse me. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Gotta... This is... Got it. <laughs> well, that's new. I like it. I like it. It's a little bit of risk, but it's actually pretty easy. You just walk around the edge. Okay. Anyways, let's go to the freaking water barrel, man. Let's go down to the next floor. It's, it's weird. It's like... It's like sometimes sounds are quiet and sometimes they're loud. Oh, I already did it. Like that teleporter, it, it, it feels like it's starting, oh, it's wrong direction. It feels like it's starting loud and then it gets quiet all of a sudden. I don't know, the sounds sound messed up. <laughs> I don't have like surround sound or anything. I just have a pair of headphones on. Like that sound, the sound of myself falling into a pit was louder than the teleport. It's, it's, the balance has changed. It's probably just gonna take me a little while to get used to, but it is something that I notice it right now and I think to myself, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't like that. That's gonna be interesting. What's nice about those um, dynamite bulletkin is that they seem like, it seems like they can appear on any room and they can be a help. You know, if you kill them before they uh, get too close to you, maybe you can actually kill some enemies with it. Beaties, this is new. Beaties shouldn't normally spawn on this room. Ah, I don't like the sound of explosions. It looks like those Beaties um, replaced either uh, one of the mutant shotgunners or two of the mutant bulletkin or something. That's strange. I wonder if Beaties can just be anywhere now, like any enemy could be a Beatie. So the rat apparently will not steal glass guan stones, but I'm gonna take it anyways because I, I like having guan stones. Anyways, I, was, I think I was gonna say something earlier and then I got a little off topic. <laughs> but it would be nice if the um, flawlesses on the robot gave him max HP up. So like if you picked up the pig or a one up or something, you would actually get seven or eight or nine heart containers on the respawn because normally you get six. I don't know how it's it's changed other than then it just gives you an extra HP. Temporarily anyways. Um, shops can now no longer be locked apparently, which is nice. Sure. Let's get another Guan Stone. We have two keys. You know what I just realized? 
Poison Shotgun might not be the best thing to use on poison level, but for now it's gonna be okay. Reload. I do like the uh, the shot grub. It's a good shotgun. You're a dead eye. I thought there was something iffy about you when I saw you a second ago. Okay, you can't dodge over through tables, which is nice, <laughs> I suppose. I wonder, is it easier to poison enemies? It looks like it might be a little bit easier to poison enemies like uh, blobs. Seems like they don't necessarily completely negate the uh, the poison on the ground before they, they slime into it, which is nice, actually. You gotta go first, dude. I'm still, I'm still listening to the sounds, thinking to myself, this feels weird. <laughs> this sounds strange. I almost got hit there. That would have been dumb. What's dumb is that I am going to get a little bit cornered here, at least initially. Might want to use a blank. I'd like to keep these, uh, these glass guan stones if I can. As I've always said, you know, Oubliette's one of the most difficult floors. You don't have a lot of guns by the time you get here. Then again, we actually have a few guns. I could switch over to the Hegemony Carbine for some of this. You know, the Shot Grub is pretty damn ammo efficient. We don't need to be using the starting pistol. At least not all the damn time. Rolling over a table enough will break it. That's good to know. I don't plan on rolling over tables too much. And as I said, I, I do kind of wish that there was an option for it. It's weird, because there's an option for a lot of stuff in Gungeon. There's an option for like old school, um, or not old school, but broken uh, gun slowdown menu where WASD actually changes your um, your gun. And yeah, that's the table breaking right there. But it's kind of uh, interesting that they didn't add in a, uh, an option to, to turn that off. It's just, it's in the game now. You better get used to it. Because if you don't, <laughs> you're going to get screwed. I'll go after you. It seems like the shot grub might actually be a little bit better. Because I, I don't remember it poisoning on impact. Like, enemies, like the, the flying enemies in the, the meat cubes, I don't remember them ever getting poisoned from the shot grub. Maybe I'm misremembering, but it seems like maybe that's changed. This is interesting. It's just a bunch of explosions. Oh, speaking of a bunch of explosions, uh, one thing on the patch notes was apparently there was a note saying that um, multiple explosions happening very quickly is now not as as good at breaking enemy bullets. That makes me wonder if they fixed the issue with the uh, don't need that. Fixed the issue with the uh, like explosives in the game where they can queue up and happen for like 16 minutes in a row. Save for later. Goodbye. It's another mechanic. Apparently it just goes into the shop. Oh, it tells you how much HP is in your blood bank. Look at that. <laughs> it's very nifty. We have one half heart in our, uh, in our blood bank. Nice. There's been a, a little bit of question as to whether or not the HP that's in your bank stays with you for the uh, the entire run or if it's only for the floor. I'm pretty sure it's only for the floor. But people, have, I think, have been under the mistaken impression that it can stay with you for an entire run. But we'll figure that out on the next floor when we'll go down and we'll see how much HP is in that blood bank. Flipped over a table. You proud? Is it out now? Doesn't show up for you for you yet. It is out. It's on Steam. Um, you might need to force the update if, for some reason, it's not showing up for you. But it is there. Live on everything except Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I think the patch notes did say that it was only for the floor. Um, but it's something I think that people have been mistaken about for a while. This is like table tech 
demon from beyond the gun. Infuriating note, you've been had. Okay, well, let's check it out. First, a new item. I've taken your stuff, but you keep pushing through. I'll have you. I'll have to try harder. So rats off to you, RR. You've been had. I wonder. Also, hello, Universe Twenty Seven. I wonder if now that we have this, we can do something special. You know? Ooh, a glass wand stone, just right there in a secret room. That's very nice. I wonder if we can do something special now that we have the note. If maybe we can be like, rat, give me my shit. I know you've got it. You gave me a note saying that you took my stuff. Maybe that's how you fight the super secret new boss. Maybe not, I don't know. We'll find out. I definitely feel like Shot Grub has been buffed. I think I think it never poisoned on contact. Enemies had to walk into the creep. But now that it poisons on contact, it does seem to be maybe a little bit better. Because now you can use it against um, flying enemies. In theory, anyways, in theory. Anyways, this is gonna be a gun. And the old crest is behind a locked door. Well, we can buy a key, I think. We have a lot of money, actually. More than I was expecting. The shops have been reworked. You know, money has been reworked in the game, I think. Pulse cannon. A synergy with... The heart locket. Finger on the pulse. What the hell? I have no idea what that synergy is, but we've got it. <laughs> Finger on the pulse. Finger on the pulse. I wish that I wish that like I could look at the Ammonomicon and be like, hey, what's the synergy? Heart purse. Maybe any HP upgrade might make it work. Maybe it's not just the heart purse or heart, heart locket or whatever. Huh. We'll um uh, we'll keep an eye out, I suppose. I'm kind of interested to see, like, if I just use this, will I be able to see what the, uh, the synergy is? I don't know. Maybe I've got to press R to activate it, you know, re manually reload when it's at full capacity and you get something, because that's how you work with the, uh, the heroin and the mega hand. Now, let's try it. No. <laughs> I'm not seeing any extra potential, uh, synergy with this. I'm pressing R. Doesn't work. Yeah, synergy menu would be kind of nice, because if there are hundreds of new synergies, some of them are obvious, like the rotating shield and the P cannon. Just saying that makes me feel weird. P cannon. <laughs> it sounds like a. Uh, uh, some sounds like something a kid would make, and then you'd have to chastise your child. Don't make a P cannon ever again, Timmy. Yes, I know that you've heard that P is sterile, but still, it's no one likes a good P cannon. I'm just gonna use the rest of this ammo. It feels like I turned up the the uh, sound effects, and now they're quiet again. I don't know what the deal is with the SFX, but I kind of wish that it was reverted a little bit. Oh my god! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Eight. You're gonna give me eight freaking credits here? What the hell is this? Nice name for a kinky porn film. <laughs> I like it. Donk! As we get all of the uh, Gemini credits all in one fell swoop. I have no idea what the... Uh, why we keep getting so many damn credits, but I mean, I guess I'm okay with it. Could buy a new gun. Could buy the moon scraper for 46. I guess having a beam weapon is nice, but uh, let's let's just keep going. Let's keep going and we'll, ooh, teleport straight to the exit is so nice. 
Let's just keep going and see what kind of synergies we can get in the future with the items that we have. And this has one heart in it. Let's see how many hearts are in that heart box once we get down here. I don't I don't see any numbers. I'm pretty sure it is zero. So that that's the nail in that coffin, basically. Uh, these guys, the bullets, they'll give you money if you kill them. Or they have a chance of dropping money if you kill them. If they die on their own, you, they, uh, they won't drop money, but if you kill them before they explode, you will get something out of them, I think. Oh man, being able to kill even the, oh, I can pick up the key. I don't need to worry about guaranteed key drops in the shop. Like, being able to poison that bullet shark is actually quite nice. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of that. Looks like we can kind of get rid of the, uh, the cobwebs by, well, by walking through it, but also by using uh, a creep-based weapon. So maybe something like a, a Mega Dowser it has double value, you know? Because normally the Mega Dowser is like, oh, well, I already have the plunger. I already have Gamma Ray. But even just to be able to do a quick swipe and to get rid of, like, uh, uh, cobwebs on the ground, that'd be a pretty nice thing. Oh, that's a new enemy. He is not... Oh, God, what the hell? He's, like, doing attacks from other enemies. He did an attack from a boss, I think, too. But then the, the little blob heads created fire where they went. Very interesting. The webs are flammable. Oh! That is quite good to know. What the hell is this? Excuse me. Nod key. A thousand. M minus 80? Minus 80. Oh! You pay it off as you go. I just spent 80 credits to partially buy the Nod key. Oh, very interesting. So that's got to be an unlock for some for the uh, RR, I think. We've got to slowly pay off the shopkeeper so that we can get access to RR. Now the question is, what happens when we buy the key? Do we get it forever? Or do we have to keep buying it on runs? Like, oh, you have to dump. This is a new room. You have to dump uh, 100,000 credits into this uh, into the key in order for you to use it, and you got to keep doing that over and over again. You cannot be lit on fire either. Okay, I got I gotta kill you quickly, so let's He just does enemies from other blobs. The, oh, that's what he is. He does attacks from other blobs. So uh, the, I saw the Blizbulin, he's creating uh, fire on the ground, he's creating uh, poison on the ground. Gotcha, gotcha. It, it's actually kind of an interesting idea having a continuously rebuying key in the shop. You know, because it'd be like, oh, I have nothing I want to spend my money on on this run. I might as well just dump it into the uh, the Nod key. But as as is, it's going to take a while until we can afford it. Several several runs at least. But now that I know that that's there, we can plan for it. You know, we can purposefully not spend money in the early game and save money for the, uh, for the super key. Ah, so we're gonna have to do that. That, that's a new room. It's like three new rooms in a row. Quite nice. You need an ammo drop. I gotta switch to the pulse cannon here. Against the lead maiden, use what you got, man. <laughs> Hello, Shpi, how's it going? Just doing my first run of AG and D. Oh, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. And something, and something, and something, and the rat's gonna get it, I don't know. Hopefully we can get some synergies for um, the hegemony carbine. I want to get the Hegemony Rifle and see what we get, because the Hegemony Carbine right now sucks. 
not a very good game. Or not a game, it's a very very good game. What the hell is that? Not a very good gun. Uh oh. It's a bag! It's a bag and he's gonna steal my loot! Reminds me of those, uh, those slimes from Zelda that like suck you up and they eat your shield. I forget what they're called. Not a creep creep. Something. Anyways, it's a new ammo box, the tan ammo box. It gives you half capacity in one gun and 20% in your other gun. So we actually did recover some pulse cannon, recover some hegemony carbine, and recover half of the shot grub. It's a very good thing that there's a new ammo drop in the game because it's quite nice to be able to just refill your guns. Hey, Trork. I have not watched any streams or uh, seen any videos on ag and I, I do know a little bit about the update. I do uh, know a couple of spoilers, but that's it. I have not seen any of the new gameplay since like December when Devol Devolver Digital did a little bit of a teaser stream, but yo, flak bullets. I think we gotta take flak bullets here. Can we buy a key? If I can buy a key, I might just wanna get flak bullets. We can definitely buy a key. Oh, but you know what? We have two shotguns. We need to we need to scope. Every chest room is getting teleporters. Dude, by all means, if that's an update, I approve. I didn't know if it was going to be every chest room, but if it is, what that's wonderful cuz oh god. Okay, he's dead. We got him. <laughs> he killed the spider. Well, that was new. That's horrifying, I hate that. Yeah, chain gunners have a new attack. I I figured that it would be them throwing their mace at you. And uh, I saw it once already. Uh, so this room is basically, hey, you have tables, and whenever you flip a table, you gain a short period of invincibility. Just use that over and over again. Seems like a pretty easy room, all things considered. Yeah, um, I think getting the... Getting the scope was the correct option. Yeah, we could have gotten anything from the uh, the chest, from the key. Oh, perfect. But having a, an accurate shot grubber, having an accurate pulse cannon is going to be really nice for us, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Are these going to be mimics? Not a mimic. Not a mimic. Not a mimic. It's a version of this room without mimics! Hell yeah! F. What? Well, we just got the same gun twice. <laughs> I guess I should have opened one chest and then opened the other chest because we just got the same gun twice. That's not what I wanted. Anyways, we did get the Rubidine Mark II. We can open this chest and get fat bullets or uh, stout bullets. Which one is it? Stout bullets. The one I don't like, but that's okay. We'll pick up this and we'll get the Gungeon Ant. Eh. I have to wonder, because it also paid out with a key. Were these two chests seated to be the same? I'm like, what's what's the deal with that? That's a little, it's a little finick, it's a little funny there, Gungeon. Okay. Anyways, 37 credits. Can we get 10 from fighting the boss? I would love to get flak bullets. Let's fight the boss, and let's use the, uh, maybe the Rubidine? Rubidine pulse cannon? We can see what boss we're gonna fight, though. The holster? What? We don't have a synergy with anything. Is that just the new size? What the hell? Oh, it's stout bullets. <laughs> I was like, why is it so big? Just because it's stout bullets, right? I gotcha. Anyways, um, yeah, it's probably gonna be the beholster. Against the Beholster, we will want a shotgun. Um, so maybe the Pulse Cannon, and I think Rubidine will do enough damage that we can kill this guy pretty quickly. Oh, a nice new arena. Slightly bigger, I like it. More room for you to maneuver in, I like it. I think this guy honestly um, could have used that change. Let's just pop out a Pulse Cannon shot. 
it's so nice because you're not forced to be to his left or right anymore. You can actually be under him and feel like you're be able to dodge okay. This guy's not doing his I-beam attack at all, which I guess is okay. But I actually like his I-beam attack, please, game. Anyways, he's almost dead. There we go. You wonder if they changed anyone's past. Good, good thinking, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at how many freaking credits you get. Is that because of the flawless or something? Oh, unicorn horn. Oh, I love this gun. Oh, I don't love it, but it's a good gun. You found a new guy. I wanna find a new guy. How many credits did we get? 42, we have enough. We can get flak bullets. More items. Give them to me. It actually does make shotguns even more viable than they otherwise would be because you have kind of a, a range bonus on them. Settle down now. Okay, I'll settle down, mister. This is looking like it might be a pretty good run. And you know what? It's five more credits for the key. <laughs> I, I don't know if we're gonna see that key again on this run, you know? We didn't see it on the first floor. We didn't see it in the oubliette. We only saw it once we came down to the second floor proper. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna dump my money into it and we'll see what happens with it. You know? Okay, this is a weird room. But at least we have, you know, poison that's easy to hit with, so. Am I poisoning with the flak shots? No, they get smaller because of the, uh... oh, hello. Oh, it's one of you. I don't like that. Shots are getting smaller because of stout bullets. I gotta remember that. How am I gonna make this dodge? I guess I gotta break the, uh, the crap. Right. Oh, God. I don't know why I got startled, but I did. Same dodge trap room that you've always had. I think we can kill him with the shock grub, honestly. Wow, we can't. Never mind. What do I know? Cell key! We're gonna get a new NPC. I wonder if they added in a like renewable NPC. Like an NPC that you can get multiple, multiple, multiple times. Cause you could do that with the um the goblin lady. You can keep knocking her hat down. Maybe I can knock her hat hat down again. I didn't see it. Let's wait for those bullets to move by. That's like the worst attack. I hate that one. I'm liking that the poison is working. Like we're able to poison books. Still can't poison this guy, but that's just because he's a jerk. Oh, you know what? Another good reason to get scope. Pilot's bad normal accuracy. Good thinking. They got a guy with a new challenge mode. I think there is a new NPC that unlocks um, turbo mode. And he'll he'll be in the in the upper right breach area with Daisuke and the Blessed Lady. So we gotta find uh, we gotta find him. Wherever he is, we'll find him, and then we'll start doing turbo mode runs. Tonic could be tonic, yeah. Oh, thank God they got rid of the guns. The uh... <laughs> They got rid of the, uh... Oh, God. Okay. I gotta try to figure this out. They got rid of the, uh... The gun nut. But maybe the gun nut would have been easier than this jerk. Uh, yeah, that's like your easiest attack. Kill him! Oh. I want to try to kill those bullets now because... You get money if uh, before they explode. No. Secret room? No. Yeah, the shot grub with flak bullets plus an accuracy upgrade. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
New achievements, too. Yeah, I can't wait for the new achievements. I, I don't know what they are. I imagine we'll just get them as we play. Defeat the new boss, do the new floor, get the new NPCs and do their shtick. I guess I should try to uh, flip over as many tables as possible. And by flip over, I mean I flip over. Oh, you know what? The Blood Elons, they're faster. And by faster, I don't mean they move faster. I mean they explode faster. They have less period, or uh, fewer, um... Yeah, they have a smaller iframe period between phases. That's very good. It was always super annoying having to deal with them because it took them a million years to freaking die. Yeah, they're only like a, a temporary nuisance and, as opposed to something that's gonna be a, uh, annoying for a lot longer. I guess with the uh, with the new enemy that... Um, ah, maybe they're not faster. It feels like they are a little bit faster. I wonder if uh, because of that new enemy, the one that spawns the cobwebs, if an item like the sponge is gonna be even more val valuable. We have to get a key. There's no key. Are you, are you effing kidding me? You're gonna lock the dude behind two locked doors? How, that's not fair. <laughs> we gotta find a key or else we, we're gonna have a 50-50 chance of unlocking him with the, uh, with the lock pick here. I don't like that spiderling. At least he doesn't appear on, on super difficult rooms, but I don't know. The spider guy seems kind of hard to dodge, honestly. We gotta get a key. Hopefully these uh, enhanced key drops are a thing. Because the thing is, there's now no longer guaranteed keys in the shop after the first couple of floors. Oh, good lord, no. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about two of those guys. We're gonna use the pulse cannon here. They all, you know, if they had the same attack over and over again, that'd be one thing, but because they have semi-random attacks that they can fire out, I'd, I'd rather not deal with them. Um, oh shit. Okay, we gotta drop flak bullets real quick. I am gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get into the, um, yeah, into the secret room, because I, if the secret rooms are better, I need a key so I can unlock this guy. He's a big bear. He's a party bear. Oh, hey, buddy. You set me free. I never thought I would escape from this cell. Anyway, I'm Tonic. Tonic the Sledge Dog. I get it. Look me up in the breach if you ever want to go a little faster. I will do that, Tonic. I picked up flak bullets, right? Yeah. Let's go to the other secret room and talk to Brother Albert. No uh, blanks for the boss fight. If we take damage and lose these guan stones, I don't care. Ammo belt. It's actually really damn good. And we're out of keys, so let's use a lockpick. Didn't work. We got junk. No Sir Junkin. That's okay. We could gun munch. You know, we could gun munch a couple of guns that we have that do not synergize with anything. You know, we could gun munch the uh, Gungeon Ant. He is quite adorable. We can gun munch the... Uh, Got much of the brick breaker. <laughs> I wonder what that's a reference to. Elephant gun is so good and we have an accuracy bonus. This might be a good boss killing gun, honestly. But uh, we'll use the, you know what? We're gonna use probably unicorn horn against this guy. Unicorn horn, rubidine or something. Hey buddy. Now, Stout Bullets is purely a damage upgrade for beams, so actually this is gonna do a lot of damage. That Guanstone completely destroyed that attack, I love it. Pretty sure it's only a damage upgrade for beams. We're gonna have to keep resetting the song. It's unfortunate, I know, but 
got to be done. Go, get out of there. Might be able to flawless this guy with the unicorn horn. Did they fix it so that you can, uh, oh God. You don't have to keep pressing the fire button to fire a, a beam weapon. I think they did because it's like working a little bit better now than I would have normally expected it to. Get closer. Oh, you are dead, mister. You are so dead. <laughs> One shot left in the barrel. Let's listen to the song real quick. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Hegemony credits. Oh, and a synergy with flak bullets, anti aircraft. I don't like the new explosion sound. What does it do? Is it home? It doesn't home to the cursor. Well, I don't know what this uh, this synergy does, but it's a synergy, so we're gonna keep it forever and ever. We didn't get a key drop, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to use a lock pick here. Shink, but it works! And it's not a mimic, too. Jolter. It's a big bullet, as expected. Uh, yeah, sure, let's buy another Guanstone. We have four, and four is a good number to have. We could get rid of this piece of paper. I don't know what it does. L let me read it again. I've taken your stuff, but you keep pushing through. I'll have to try harder, so rats off to you. Oh! Rats off to you! I think that the rat won't steal things. I think the rat won't steal anything now that we have the note. Rats off. The rat's not gonna come get us. Try changing ammo. Nope. That's something that we're gonna have to check now, is that whenever you get a, a new synergy, if you don't know what it does, just try to press R. Try to change your uh, your ammo type, because with the heroin and the mega hand, again, that's how that works, but with this, it doesn't seem to. Anyways, let's save our money. Uh, we already gun munched. We flawless the old king, wonderful. And the rat won't steal anything. Oh, you know what that means? For things like ammo drops, you can just save them forever. For guns that you drop on the floor, you can save them forever, theoretically. Kind of nice, actually. All right, let's see what this RPG does. Does it home or something? I mean, it exploded really big. The flak shots are homing. Look at this. The flak shots home. I, I th it wasn't confirmed, or at least I don't know if the Mega Hand has any synergies, but I've heard that it is going to. Like, the developer, I think, said in a, a long time ago that uh, the Mega Hand was going to get a lot of synergies because there's a lot of potential there, you know? Flak shots. The flak shots kind of home in? No, they, they absolutely do home in on enemies. It, they don't seem to do that much damage, but that's what the synergy is. That seems like not very good. Like, my problem with it is that the flak shots just do no damage. <laughs> like, they're, they're not even killing this little guy. All right. It's an interesting synergy, I understand it now, but, uh, oh, hey. Oh, bye, dog. Oh, it's a shadow dog. It's an annoying attack. Was there another one? I saw a shadow dog earlier. Ah, oh, there he is. You didn't die. I like shadow dog. His new attack seems like it might be really annoying. There's four shadow dogs! Stop moving, hey. It's actually interesting that it's an enemy in the game that, uh, oh, you son of a gun. <laughs> it's an enemy in the game that runs away from you. There's not, a, not, not many that do that but he wants to keep his distance so he can get you. Let's look at the names of these new enemies. Still haven't seen this guy. New artwork in the professional? I don't remember him having a gold hat. 
Um, the Chance Bulon. Berserker class of the Blobulonian, Blobulonian Imperial Shock Troopers. Erratic violent attack patterns. Erratic. Not something you want to see in a game that's all about pattern memorization and shit, so I think you gotta kill those guys as quickly as you can. Miss Fire Beast. I get it. Invisible Predators. I thought I saw one of them as a shadow dog. Yeah, he's a projection. Okay. Phaser Spider. Set spiders to gun. Fire bullets and being a spider. <laughs> Okay, and uh, what is this guy? The Tarnisher, Rust Belt. Half holster, half monster. Doesn't just like guns, it like likes guns. Like like, that's what it's called. <laughs> the enemy from, uh, from Zelda. I wonder if they eat your gun and then they shoot it at you or something. I don't know. Seems strange. Anyways, I just wanted to look at that real quick and be like, hey, what are the new, what are the new enemies called? Thank God they didn't add in the ability for uh, blue and purple shotgunners to uh, climb into the minecarts. Anyways, we'll refill ammo for everything. Which is actually kind of nice because we picked up... Oh. No, I missed my shot! Okay, we destroyed the uh, explosive. Or we destroyed the uh, turret. Or armor. What was I gonna say? All oh, right, I was gonna say um, it's actually good to get that tan ammo drop after the ammo belt because we were a little bit down on everything. You know, we had picked up an extra 20% capacity for all guns, but we needed that 20% ammo drop to refill everything again. So it's actually a nice thing to get. I'm gonna guess and say secret room. I don't want to offer junk. I like my junk. I messed up. Again, I should have tried to destroy the uh, the minecart. Might be able to try it here. Yep. Maybe the explosion on the RPG is bigger too. Hey, that's a trap door and a rat. Hey, that's a that's a trap door and a rat. Okay. <laughs> well, that's new. Um, I guess we'll come back to this later. After we have killed the boss on this floor, because it's if it's like an oubliette access thing, then we want to do it at the end of the floor, you know? Hey, Scuskit. You guys suck. I don't see a big enemy worth using the RPG on, so I'm just gonna keep using the shot grub. The fact that like the flak shots seem to poison enemies is so nice, but maybe it's not the flak shots. Again, I'm, I'm having trouble identifying it because I have big shots, I get small shots from stout bullets, and then I get even smaller shots with flak bullets. It's kind of hard to tell what's what. We can get bees. Might want blanks. Blanks aren't bees, but they're they're nice. No, maybe the flak shots are not poisoning now that I'm looking at it you have to die I hate you guys shouldn't have flipped it should have just dodge rolled over it we have to make sure to save a key for that trap door too I have a cur oh yeah we do have a little bit of curse actually I shouldn't be so surprised at that. Yeah, I don't think the flak shots are poisoning. Yeah, it's just it's hard to tell. I tell you what, let's do an experiment. Flip the table, we'll shoot the table. Until we get a hit on this guy. All right, well, that didn't work. Okay, yeah, they're not poisoning. <laughs> that, that works too. Just shoot the wall. I guess I could have spent a key on the trap door and, you know, gotten it prepared. Prepared for entrance. RPG was not reloaded. I should have waited for it to reload. That didn't seem to do any damage to that guy. The explosion just kind of knocked him back. It didn't actually uh, destroy him. Destroy him! Eh, it's 
going fine. RPG is still kicking butt. Should probably use it on boss fights too. It's a good weapon to have. Yeah, you're dead. You're poisoned. Ammo drop. Um, take it for the shock rub. And now all of a sudden we're at nearly full capacity. That's why I didn't open the chest. I wanted to make sure that if there was a higher quality chest, we could open this one. Dragon fire, that's a, that's a good gun. That's a good gun. Um, we could lock pick the green chest, but we can always wait and then maybe lock pick it later. Let's go take a look at what boss we're gonna fight. Probably just wanna use more unicorn horn. I should have taken the tan ammo box for the unicorn horn. Homing ranged attacks, hide under the bell, use an RPG to destroy him immediately. Let's wait for this to reload. Easy fight. We have we have a good combination of weapons here. We have something that we can use at range. We've got the RPG. RPG. Seems like the claymores might move a little bit more slowly. Don't home in on the claymore. I thought that was fixed. I thought I read that in the patch notes. They're like, hey, we fixed the uh, the auto homing on things. Obviously not. <laughs> Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, Chaz Knight, Chat, Chase Knight. PS4, uh, well, presumably. I don't know if it's gonna be out yet, but it will be out soon. 360 Yes Scope. Excuse me? Oh! <laughs> okay, 360 yes scope. If you spin 360 degrees, you actually get a, a damage bonus, I think, on, the, on one shot. It sounds amazing, listen to this. That's kind of cool. I. You wanna know why I like this? I like this because I wonder if this is gonna make the, uh, oh, Smiling Bandit 2 with a 1500-bit cheer. AG&D, hype, 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 Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Um, I wonder if this is gonna make it so that the sniper rifle can one-shot enemies because oftentimes it doesn't one-shot an enemy and you're left feeling a little bit sad that the gun didn't get a kill on something. But if it can one-shot an enemy, it's actually gonna be pretty good. So, uh, yeah, sniper rifle, 360 yes scope. That's a nice, nice synergy. Even if you don't, you know, do the 360 spin all the time, even occasionally it's gonna be worth it. Anyway, let's buy blanks and let's do the trap door. Oh, and the uh, the secret room. Let's not forget the secret room that's by the, uh, the shrine. We got a couple of things left to do. We get our blank back, we get an ammo drop. That's going to the uni unicorn horn. And I think we're gonna be using this as our boss killer, but let's see what's gonna happen here with the trap door. I wonder if this is something that appears on every run. It's already opened. Let's get, let's get our guns out. What do we want? We want, I don't know, dragon fire unicorn horn? Okay. Climb back out. There's a big walkway. I wonder if we can walk on this. I want I want to check it out real quick. I want to see if I You know what? Let's just get in the freaking minecart. Is it going to be like a minecart level? I'd love it if this was a minecart level. Like you've got to shoot enemies on the uh, on the tracks next to you, like Indiana Jones. Okay. Um, what? I, I'm missing something. What? I. Do 
We just gotta like go as fast as we can. <sighs> faster, 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 faster. We have the RPG. Break open a hole at the end. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> you gotta shoot all of the lanterns? What the hell? Why did I spend a key on this? Hmm. I... Do I have to, like, do a, a leap of faith at the end or something? Like, jump off of the minecart at full speed? I, I have no idea. I, I am... Blank. You are an effing genius comedian. We're mining! Oh, that's what it is! There's cracks in the walls, too. We're mining, because this is an abandoned mine, because it's the black powder mine. And this is where the big key goes. We have to we have to buy it from the shop, but then we can go here, and then we put the key in the hole. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, comedian. You have you have saved me from <laughs> looking a bit silly, not being able to understand what we're doing here. But yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. You, you just need to, you need two blanks to access this area, and then you need that one thousand bit key. <laughs> and we're gonna you know, have to spend four or five runs unlocking the key. Okay, but that's good to know. So we understand what, what, what we gotta do. I'm glad you're here because you uh, helped me out there. I should have put two and two together. We're in the mines. Of course it's gonna be a freaking mine. But it works. Let's try out this sniper. Wiching. Well, I mean, this normally one shots these enemies anyways. I wonder if we get the full damage range from, uh... Oh! Right, right. I wonder if we get the full damage range on, uh... Stout bullets. Because it, it doesn't look like the shot gets any smaller as it travels, but it's hard to tell. I mean, this would one-shot kill these guys anyways. Hmm. I think I killed the first one because he was close, and I didn't kill the second one because he was further away and stout bullets didn't apply anymore. So I guess the sniper rifle does give you a bonus, but it doesn't seem like maybe it's as amazing as I was hoping it would be. We'll see. I did give myself a bonus on a different gun, though. Hold on. Uh, sniper rifle. I wonder if maybe that's a synergy you can abuse. Like, you activate the, uh, the 360 no-scope and then you use another weapon. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to just, you know, experiment here. Oh, God, two spiders. We gotta, we gotta switch guns. Let's use a freaking, uh... RPG. Oh yeah, we definitely caused him some problems. I like actually lighting all those things on fire. Oh, what the hell is that? There's more enemies! Also, this is too many tables. <laughs> like, I understand giving you tables to hide behind, but that's that's too many tables, man. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, double table slide! Can we get a triple table? 
I like that. <laughs> Dodge rolling over three tables at once. Let's stop using this RPG. Let's use something else. Two shotguns? I think I pushed him away from the freezing. This guy can just go anywhere. Also, I don't like that he's jammed, but I guess we reap what we sow. It sounds satisfying to use that sniper rifle, but I don't know if it's any good. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if we go this direction now, because if it's a chest, we'll just get a teleporter on it. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Pop the blank so we don't get hit and lose our guan stones. Although I guess we could... Yeah, I guess we could just drop them and leave them and come back later. Because RR does not steal guan stones, glass guan stones anyways. And he doesn't um, steal anything on this run because we have this piece of paper that says no rat. I think. I think that's what the piece of paper does. Oh, table tech blank. Benedict bullet. Yeah, I know. Just give me a second. I'm looking for secret rooms, buddy. We gotta get table tech blank, even over the amulets. If we have the ability to steal in the future, we'll come back and steal from him, but... You know, I'm kind of disappointed we haven't picked up any active items yet. Kind of half the reason why I wanted to play as the uh, pilot here, so we can hold on to multiple active items. So far, we've got nothing. Seems like dodge rolling over the spider webs doesn't slow you down, which is nice. Easy. Man, it does a lot of damage, though. Stout bullets, close range, RPG. What the hell is that? It's a wall! It's a frickin' wall! <laughs> okay. Well, that's new. The literal wall came out to attack me. Jesus. This game's got everything. It's got wall mimics. Gotta be careful about that. Like, I wonder if that's an enemy that spawns on this room or if he can spawn anywhere, like an ashen bullet statue. Good Lord. That's, uh, <laughs> that's very, very interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Perfect evolution of the mimic. It's a wall mimic. Okay, I like that we can one-shot enemies with this, uh, this sniper. You just keep spinning. I'll take the ammo for this. That was Wonderwallful. Pushing it a little bit. Chicken, payday mask, key. Well, we can afford basically nothing, because I bought Table Tech Blank and then completely forgot about it on that room with tables. But, uh, we'll see. So far, we haven't seen the key anymore. It must be a second floor only thing, and if it is a second floor only thing, we're not going to be able to afford it for many runs, because we're going to need a lot of money. We might need to uh, play Cursed mode, you know? Nine levels of Curse, get a lot of... Uh... Oh, it's so good! Get a lot of uh, jammed enemies on a run, and then be able to afford it that way. I mean, I mean, I guess at this point everything's full, and we'll keep it that way. <gasps> Save for later. Oh, wrong button. We got one. Well. No real point in uh, doing a spin to win. Oh, it can't even kill a bullet can at range. That's why we got a spin to win. What is this? It looks like... It looks like the sprite's broken, but it looks like a man who's hiding in a box. Oh, it's a guy with his head in the piece of paper. Oh, hi, Matt Man. How's it going? 
it's you. Oh, of course, I know you. I love you. I guess I never really paid attention to what this guy looks like. I didn't even recognize him on the minimap icon. <laughs> How long until cursed DD20 Turbo? Probably never, but probably not never. Probably just in a while. All right, we got two blue chests, no keys. Let's lock pick one. Oh, we get the log we can steal. Hell yeah. Which means that we can steal a amulet and we can steal something from the main shopkeeper. And he's not gonna be with us on the next floor, so now's the perfect time to do it. I guess we want copper amulet. Try to steal twice. Um, because the, we'll probably take the payday mask, I imagine. Uh, we already have the ability to very easily poison enemies with a shot grub. We don't need extra poison. Huntsman. Wow, well, okay, our curse is starting to get up there a little bit. <laughs> but it's still a good gun. Might even be worth using here on the boss fight, but let's see what boss it is. I imagine that I'm just going to want to use... Yeah, you can absolutely stop it with uh, poison or liquids. I... With a weapon like the Shot Grub, and with Stout Bullets in particular, and with Flak Bullets in particular, you have to be careful you don't destroy the chest, but the Shot Grub can do it. Um, the Mailbox technically can, if you get the last box that gives you Creep. Because it can give you an explosion, which will destroy the chest, but it can give you um, a bunch of poison. Um, you can use the Mailbox to put out the fireplace on the first floor. That's something you can do with it. Um, but let's see, if we get a... Kill pillar fight, I'm probably just gonna want to open up with the Huntsman and then switch over to the Unicorn Horn. Excellent. Ah, uh, you know, we can chuck out a few RPGs. You just wanna open up with the, uh, the reload on the Huntsman, break his bullets. Yeah, he doesn't know what's up. We're gonna be messing up the song a little bit here, but that's okay. Whoa, what was that? It was a little strange. It's like their eyes are like glitching out or something. I don't know if I like that. Anyways, kill pillars are dead, easy enough. Oh, as soon as you beat the boss, the exit opens up. I was wondering about that. Earlier, I kind of felt like we hadn't yet been to the uh, the exit elevator, but I stole the teleporter on it. As soon as you beat the boss, the exit teleporter becomes available. That's really interesting. Excuse me? Are you are you looking at this gun? Ammo belt. Not quite as many. We got like twice the ammo capacity in the Gatling gun, and it's now a effing badass. <laughs> Oh man, that is excellent. Really incentivizes buying that ammo belt if there's synergies with it like this. And especially with the uh, tan ammo boxes too. Let's open it. Well, not a very good draw, but maybe we can gun munch it in the future. Oh man, that's uh, it's pretty good. Buy the key so we can open something on the next floor. We will look for secret rooms really quickly. Actually, I don't think we found any, did we? We'll check the exit elevator. Can you look at your synergies? You can, but they're not listed. If you go to the Ammonomicon, Smiling Bandit 2, um, gold junk has appeared in the basement, lovely. You can click on an item and it will tell you what synergizes with it. So I've clicked on Vulcan Cannon and you can see it's kind of hard to see, but there's an up arrow on the ammo belt. I can click on the Pulse Cannon and I can see that it has some sort of a synergy with the Heart Purse. I can click on scope and see that it, it has a synergy with the sniper rifle. So you can kind of see what your synergies are. RPG plus flak bullets, for instance. Flak bullets doesn't synergize with anything else. Um, copper amulet doesn't synergize with anything else. But it, it's, it's not a list, which would have been nice, but it is something, you know? You're not left wondering what, what it does this synergize with. 
And I do like that it tells you when you get the synergy. It pops up both of the items and it tells you a name for the synergy. So not quite so many. Um, I can't remember what it was for the pulse cannon. Finger on the pulse? Oh, I get it. <laughs> it took me this long, but I get it. Pulse cannon, your heartbeat pulses. Okay, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm smart. We can steal. I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, let's uh, absolutely steal the clown mask. We can get a clown familiar. And then we can get the hell out of here. Our curse is not that high. It's probably like 5.5 right now. It's not that bad. We have plenty of space left to continue to steal. And let's use the, uh, <clears throat> let's use a pulse cannon and the sniper. Ah, screw it, let's use the minigun. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, what the hell was that? This is a new room. I can't kill him. Hey, get away from me. Oh, he's just, he's hes here. He's, he's a dude. What? He grabbed me. Daruma unlocked. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, I, I have no idea what that was. Do we have to do the room again? Like, I couldn't, I couldn't get away from the hand. Like, I went, I just finished the room and I went to the new room and he's still there. Chasing me. It's like, I, I don't know how to deal with you. Oh, I get it. There's actually a, um, something about this Vulcan cannon that I've got right now. It fires a little bit slowly to start with, and then it fires faster after you hold down the trigger for about a second. So you, we gotta make sure to use that. You know what I should have done? I should have used the decoy on the hand. I should have decoyed it. But yeah, I have no idea what that was. It was it was strange. I couldn't actually get away from the hand even though I was on another room. I wonder if if you see the hand, if, you're, if you should just let it take you, let it take you away. You know? You know what? Payday Familiar, do my work for me. I got this guy. It's very, very, very weird. It's Mom's Hand. It's Mom's Hand if Mom's Hand was all gangly and green. Not green, gray. Yeah, that's, uh, it's gonna take a while, I think, to learn what the hell you're supposed to do against that guy. What hit me? Oh, it was a freaking Ashen Bulletkin. <laughs> there go my Guan Stones. You son of a gun. I hate you. Yo, I like this new Vulcan Cannon, or it, I like it having more uh, capacity, because I'm actually, you know, using it. Excuse me, I had to flip that. Gotta flip this. Used a lot of tables, but we got the job done. Risky. Am I gonna make separate YouTube videos or chop up this stream? I mean, I'm probably just gonna chop up the stream because I'm gonna be playing this game for a long time and I'm not gonna have time to make YouTube videos. But uh, at some point I will be doing, you know, videos standard again, but uh, for now I just need to, I, I need to play. And I like playing on Twitch. I like getting other people's uh, opinions on things as well. You can help me out with some of the secrets. Like, hey, blank in the mine. And you can mine. But yes, I will be coming back to uh, making videos for YouTube, but for right now, it's just I'm gonna focus on uh, streaming. The microtransaction gun appears three times in your shop. I think the game just really wants you to take it. AC 15 armor class non-zero. It's like you do more damage if you have armor. No, hit the, hit the, hit the button. It's I, I. 
Uma. Becomes more powerful while its bearer is armored. I don't know if that means four armor is four times the bonus, but... We'll give it a shot. I don't know. It sounds weird, but I don't know if it's any good. Oh, it's the Mega Hand! We gotta get enough money for that. We can steal it. This gun doesn't seem that good. Maybe it is, hold on. Two-shotting a, uh, oh it, yeah, it pierces. Two-shotting a, uh, a ghost is all right. I do tag them, so if, if you are interested in ignoring them or watching them, they are tagged. There's a playlist for uh, any video that I upload to YouTube that is a part of a Twitch stream. We have like a couple of really nifty guns. Uh, yeah, let's absolutely steal this Mega Hand. No synergies! At least not yet. It's a nice big mega shot though. We can fire away from walls, even though we have big shots. Oh, it's so nice. They finally fixed it. No synergies, unfortunately, but we'll get some synergies later. It's the dragon! We're gonna ignore the dragon for a little bit. We gotta keep exploring. We gotta get some more items! Keep forgetting I have Table Tech Blank. Yo, this gun actually seems pretty good. It does seem like it does pretty decent. I'm firing backwards, excuse me? Well, this is gonna be an interesting way to play the game. Ha <laughs> ha! I found a bug! Oh, I love it. What the f I'm just this good at guns and I don't even need to look where I'm shooting. No scope. No aim. Ah, oh, there we go, it fixed itself. Dodge rolling must have fixed it or something. Well, that was weird. You wonder if the dragon will give you guns when you kill it now. Very interesting. Has Vulcan Cannon changed? This is a synergy. Um, I don't want to drop it in case I lose the ammo bonus, but if I go to the Ammonomicon and click on it, uh, Vulcan Cannon, we can see that it synergizes with the ammo belt. So it's become this beast, which has a faster rate of fire and more ammo capacity, so it's kind of nice. You know, I'm actually kind of liking this AC-15. It has a lot of shots, you don't need to reload it that often. And uh, it does do a decent amount of damage, it looks like. Uh, excuse me. Hello, death. Goodbye, death. Uh, look for mimics. Okay, we just unlocked this. Daruma, good fortune. Oh, it's an active item. It's also like bouncing in my inventory, excuse me. Only usable for a brief period of time after successfully dodging a bullet, use to counter with a blank. This small idol is a focus for one's fighting spirit, bring back, brings luck in the heat of battle. So we have to dodge a bullet, then we can activate it, which uses a blank. So like while we're in the middle of a dodge roll, if we dodge a bullet, we, we pull this out, we pop it, we blank the rest of the bullets on the screen. What? <laughs> This seems complex, and I love it. Let's use the hell out of this item. Maybe not on uh, room to room combat if we can avoid it, but we'll see. Pro probably just use it on the boss fight. No need to reload this gun. We can keep using it for the remainder of the room, even though it, there is gonna be ghosts. Oh, get back here. Dude, payday man, thank you. Just gotta reload this gun like once every room and then that's it. It's good to go. I like it. I like it a lot. You have to remember that we do have a an advantage to staying staying up close. Let's see if we can get this to work. So we countered with a blank. It recharges so fast! Are you seeing this? It's already recharged on the one room! It's, it's kinda like an elder blank. That seems really good. 
You're doing a lot of dodging and gungeon, you know. <laughs> I can I can forcibly activate it by just dodging through a singular bullet if I need to. Whatever, I'll just reload it. Pretty familiar, where is he? That is, uh, it's quite cool. You have to make your dodge first, but if you can, if you can do it. I'm like, yeah. If you can uh, abuse it, you can just pop a blank basically every few enemies. This thing has perfect accuracy too, I'm noticing. Should never miss, be missing with it. Although we have the scope, so maybe that's giving it a little bit better accuracy. Ah! You know, it's actually quite nice though, because oftentimes you only want to use a blank in response to a bad dodge and having this active item on hand means I can do just that. I can make a dodge, see if I'm going to succeed in dodging, and if I'm gonna fail, then I can pop the blank. This is gonna be a shop, and we have the ability to steal, so I think we go to the shop and see what it is. But, let's keep exploring first. We do have a lock pick, we could use that at some point, but we'll keep going. Yeah, I, how can I not keep using the new gun? Uh, you're a, you're, you're a dude. Yeah, you gotta go. Oh, there's a little icon over your head too that tells you when it's available to use. Okay, okay, okay. We've already opened one chest. Um, we actually do have enough keys to open everything. <laughs> uh, how much curse do I have? No synergy with the shock rifle, that's okay. I mean, I'd love to get a nearly double damage bonus. Oh, what am I talking about? We can just steal. Oh, hell yeah. Um, how much curse do we have? One, two, three, four and a half, five and a half. I think we have five and a half curse. So if I uh, if I buy this, well, what's in the other shop? Is there anything that I'm, I want to buy in the shop? No, we already, oh, we stole the mega hand, right. So we're at six and a half. So if I buy this, we'll be at like seven, eight. We'll be at 10 curse exactly. Yeah, I don't want that. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do actually is just drop the huntsman this way I can pick up Cursed Bullets. We're under the levels of Curse that we, we need in order to get to LJ. And then we can just go from here. Oh, wait! The rat stole my lockpick. What does this do if it doesn't make the rat not steal my crap? I can't even drop a piece of paper. There's got to be something with this piece of paper. Hold on. I've taken your stuff, but you keep pushing through. I'll have to try harder. So rats off to you. You've been had. Is it just you don't get anything from your chest? Like, oh, congratulations, you get garbage. Because the rat did steal my uh, my huntsman, and he stole my lockpicks. <laughs> it's got to be something that maybe we, if we take it down and kill him, we can be like, I came down here to kill you because you keep doing this to me. You keep taking my shit out of chests, and now I'm gonna take your shit and shove it in. Ugh. Let's take the Vulcan Cannon out. Let's destroy this boss. If only we could get past the damage cap. We, uh, are doing a lot of damage right now. You know what? Oh, I didn't dodge through a bullet. We gotta be very careful about that. You actually do have to dodge through a bullet. Bullet. But it's very reusable. I like that. 
Well, you did not last long, did you? <laughs> oh, we got a reload. Man, we get this this reusable blank back so freaking easily. Hello, French fry guy. How's it going? I wonder how many times we can use it here. Probably not that many. Let's just pop it once. Just to say that we've done it. Well, looks like we might be able to lead God this. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Yeah. Yeah, nearly double damage enhanced Vulcan cannon. I, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. There's our lead god and like 15 more hegemony credits. No keys, so I can't get into the brown chest room because I didn't think that the rat would steal my lockpick, but he did. Okay. Let's move on. Let's go down to bullet freaking hell. I need to update my chat bot. I think it's broken. Oh, the music's so loud down here. The ba the audio balance in the game is just so wonky right now. What's the Daruma? The Daruma, this active item I have. Oh God, it's so loud now. Uh, the Daruma allows you to blank after you dodge roll through a bullet. But it only works if you dodge roll through a bullet. It, you can't just pop it. Like, I'm pressing space, it's not doing anything. You have to dodge roll through a bullet and then you can use it as a blank. But it recharges very quickly. It kind of recharges like the Shield of the Maiden, or uh, I was gonna say Grappling Hook, but that's not correct. <laughs> grappling Hook actually does have like the time between reloads or recharges. But it's it seems to be really nice. And this is a, a new gun, the AC-15, which gives you more damage if you have armor, but it's also just giving me more damage because I have uh, nine curse, cursed bullets. <laughs> I think it was green tier, yeah. I think it was green tier. Excuse me. I used my own blank instead of Daruma. Like, that's a perfect opportunity to use it, too, and I kind of screwed it up. I forgot that I had it. It's gonna take a little while to get used to it. But, like, rooms like this with a lot of enemies seems perfect. I love this AC-15, though. The fact that it has so... such high clip capacity means that you basically never need to reload it in a room. You can just do the entire room. Pretty freaking sweet. And it does pierce, it looks like. Which is kinda nice. Hey, could you die? Thank you. Oh, that's my own bullet. Or my friend's bullet. So there's the Daruma right there. We also have one payday familiar. And you know, just from killing, you know, four mutant bullet kin and then one shot grubber, we got like 80% charge back on this thing. You know, if you have gold ammo lit, it, and like ice, oh, what is with the freaking ashen bulletkins? Good lord, there's so many of them today. Did they increase the rate that they spawn or something? Stop it. Stop it with the ashen bulletkins, please. Dodge roll games. I'm never gonna get a no hit run again. Seriously though, I really do not like the Ashen Bulletkins. Trying to do a no-hit run makes it freaking nigh impossible. But that's all right. Hey, secret room. Ah, you weren't dead yet. Three shots with stout bullets plus this damage that we have. Oh, good lord. Flip it. Keep them pushed back. You can also dodge roll over tables, which is something new. So watch this. Yeah, 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 yeah. The table will break though. Was that a dynamite can? Yes, it was. <laughs> oh 
man, I love this gun. It's so efficient. Yeah, I was I was mentioning that earlier. The dynamite kin is in the uh, the game files for Gungeon originally, but it was never used. You could spawn it in with mod the Gungeon, and it would function basically the same as it functioned right now. It would run towards you and then explode on death. But now it's in the game for real. Assuming, of course, that there's no vestige of uh, mod the Gungeon in my system that's just making the uh, enemy appear. I don't think so. I think it is new. You know what? First things first. We'll do that. Then we'll go over here and kill everything. Are they shooting him? Yeah, they just already destroyed it. What jerks. I want to I want to dodge roll. I'm trying to dodge roll over a bullet on purpose sometimes now. I'm trying to get that Daruma. You know what? That's not what I meant to do, but that works too. I was meant to switch to the Vulcan Cannon and knock this guy in the pit, but I guess Pulse Cannon works too. Oh, you know what? Come here, Shot Grubber. What I think of your bullets! Frickin' blank him out of the air with a dodge roll! How do you like that? Yeah, okay. I, I, I figured it wasn't something with Mod the Gungeon, because I made sure to revert my entire uh, game file before I updated anyways. Oh, you son of a gun. Actually, I could hit the wall behind you. Hey, kind of worked. I wonder what, how much of a damage bonus you get when you're armored with this gun. Because it says more damage while armored. Is it more damage for at least one armor or every piece of armor gives you more damage or is it double damage? Is it 20% more damage? I'm curious about that, you know? Freaking brick. I just want to flip the tables to break the damn uh, statues. No more Ashen Bulletkins! Get out of here. This is the boss. This is the boss. Okay, the AC-15 is out of ammo. Let us go and munch it. Goodbye! Let's gun munch this thing. Oh, we're not gonna gun munch that. We're basically out of ammo with it, but let's, let's hold on to it. We're not gonna need the mailbox. Wish we could get an ammo drop on this floor. I wanted to refill the uh, Vulcan cannon. Oh, excuse me, I had a sneeze. Muted myself. And I made sure to unmute this time. Oh, uh, we'll get rid of the hegemony carbine. Uh, get rid of the shot grub. And I guess we'll just keep everything else. We progressed the. Uh, the muncher. Hopefully in the future we can get a payout from it. I guess we're just gonna use Unicorn Horn. Maybe the dragon fire a little bit. I haven't used this yet. Uh, but Unicorn Horn should do incredible damage because of the fact that we have a uh, super freaking massive damage bonus attached to everything. I really want to actually get the Unicorn Horn over here to hit the, uh, the enemies and kill them. Ah, perfect. Yeah, we're not gonna have a hard time killing the lich, I think. Dragon takes a dragon fire takes a long time to reload. Dun, da, da, da. Okay. Next. Explosive decoy doesn't really help us. Although, I guess I could pop the explosive decoy to break bullets when bullets come out of the left and right walls, but it's a little bit finicky to do that. And besides, I can blank from a dodge roll. I have that capability now. Like, that seems like ideally what it's... Oh, 
Damn it. Ideally what it's used for, you know, you dodge through a bullet and then you just pop the blank. And it's so easily reusable, like my god. Like I can just counter most of his attacks now. Yep, yeah, counter that one. Counter that one. Like this seems like an incredibly good item, especially if you could get coolness to get it 50% charged or something like that. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous actually. Oh, I don't like that, let's get rid of it. There we go. Just waiting for the timing to get correct on that. Let's pop that. Do 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 do. Ah! <laughs> I need the bandana on and I can just go ah! yelling, screaming at the top of my lungs as I'm filling them full of lead. And the sound balance is so off. It, it gets so loud. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? I bet you this counts as a different sound from the uh, the music. This is probably the SFX that I increased. Now, that's why it sounds loud. That's weird. I really do hope that they fix the sound balancing. But I guess it's not too bad. Well, that was a lot of fun. We've seen a few new items. We know now what we need to do for the rat. We got to spend a lot of money in the shop in order to unlock the key, and then we can go through the trap door on the third floor, and then F with the rat, I suppose. So we'll do that at some point. And Daruma, that seems amazing. That seems fantastic. It, it does so much for you, because on boss fights, oftentimes it's very easy to just dodge roll through one bullet and then slam the active item and then get a free blank out of it. It is, it is a wonderful item. I'm always going to be happy to see this. You want to see the new secret floor? Well, it's going to take a while because we need to spend a thousand credits in order to unlock the secret floor, but uh, we'll get to it at some point. Turbo mode is probably next. That is correct, because I want to see how that works. It costs so much money, and it sucks that you can't save up your money. It doesn't appear on floor five. It appears on floor two. Eh. Uh, well, hopefully it's a single unlock only sort of a thing. We'll see. I'll, well, you know what, French Fry Guy? Stick around, and you will see what I'm talking about in about 18 minutes when we get to the second floor shop. Um, but thank you all for watching, and for those of you on YouTube, thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Advanced Dungeons & Dragons.